Good morning, children. Um, now today's e-learning class, we will start with the chapter two, that is utilization of food in plants and animals. In this chapter, we will. In the previous chapter, we have learned the nutrition in plants. So now we know the autotrophic mode of nutrition. Now here we will uh, concentrate on the heterotrophic mode of nutrition and the nutrition in plants as well. Plants, what they do, what they get from the food, and how they utilize that, you should see. Green plants are autotroph, that is they can synthesize their food and they form the first product is sugar which is immediately converted into starch and this starch is a complex and stored food and that is accumulated somewhere in the plant parts. So this uh, is reconverted to soluble sugar when it is dark. Ab jab andhera hota hai, light mein they are doing photosynthesis. The soluble sugar moves through veins in leaves and phloem tubes to stem to reach different parts of the plant body. Now, when it comes to utilization hota hai, through respiration, so what does it do for work? First of all, you should you know this. First is growth, second is storage, third is reproduction, and fourth is energy. As we have a need for food for growth, it is also a need for the plant. So when it is, uh, makes the food, it is translocated to a different part, so they utilize it and their growth is there. Then, they also need the food for the storing it. Sometimes this food is stored in the root. Sometimes it is stored in the leaves. In case of roots, that is like carrot. In case of a stem, it is onion, potato, and ginger. These are the examples of the stem. Likewise, in different parts of the uh, plant, the food material is stored. Then comes, they also reproduce because reproduction is very necessary process. After that, they require some energy. And energy is given to the uh, plant by how as we are getting energy by the oxidation of food. Similarly, they produce the sugar and this sugar is then oxidized. You can see this equation in the picture C6H12O6 that is food, simple sugar. When acts with the oxygen, it forms carbon dioxide and water plus energy. So, ye teen and now this energy produced during respiration is used for performing what vital life functions. Now, this energy is used for life ke functions. Ke liye. So, this is the same thing plants. Ke mein baat ho gai. Now, we will start with the nutrition in animals. Now, animals mein jo nutrition hota hai, wo heterotrophic mode because they can't make their own food. They are depending on plants or some other uh, sources like animals are eating animals also. So, they have the different sources for it. Now, holotropic nutrition is a nutrition in which the animal takes food into the mouth, and the whole solid form will be chewed, it will chew, it will be gulped, it will swallow, but it will take the solid food. So, these holotropic animals are there, and they have their own three categories. First category is the holotropic animals, herbivores. Those which are eating plant or plant products. So, they are herbivores like rabbit like camel, like elephant and second category is of carnivores. Carnivores are such animals which eat the flesh of the other animals. You can see then a loin eating the flesh of other animals. So these are the carnivores. And then comes the third category of omnivores which are dependent on plants as well as the animals. So such are, you can see this crow in the picture. So these are about the different kinds of, uh, different categories of holozoic animals. So in this video, we will learn only this much of the part and in the next video, we will meet with the different stages of holozoic nutrition. Children, in today's e-learning class, now we will discuss the stages involved in holozoic nutrition. As I have earlier explained you about the holozoic term, holozoic means that animals which take their food in solid state and then they swallow or chew whatever the mode of uh, eating is there, whatever may, may be the organ which they use for as a feeding organ, but they take their food inside their body. Now, ingestion is that means that the intake of food into the body, either from mouth or from the cell membrane or from the other organ. Now, some animals make the finger like projection like amoeba. That makes a finger like projection and then capture the food. So it has a pseudopodia. Some animals have a tube like structure, like butterflies, that is known as proboscis. They suck the nectar from that proboscis tube like structure. 
so this is the different ways and different means of uh, taking food in ab frog ka ek example le lijiye it has a long tongue which is thrown out and then it captures the prey and it is folded inside the mouth so this way he is taking its food likewise and its tongue is very sticky so it is taking through its tongue and then snake alligator they swallow the food directly and third category just like many birds are there and we all know they take their food to their beak so different or uh, animals have different types of uh, feeding organs so sometimes in the classes it is asked it is in the exam also asked write the feeding organ in uh, frog write the feeding organ in butterfly so i hope you can answer such questions then comes the digestion this stage involves breakdown of complex and insoluble food particles into smaller ab kisi ka bhi food ke digestion ki jab baat hoti hai to uska matlab yahi hota hai ki jo khane mein complex compounds hai wo hamare simpler compounds mein turn ho jaye jisko ki hum kha sake jab jisko ki body absorb kar sake to so next stage aati hai absorption ki in this stage the simple soluble substances are absorbed and taken into the blood up simple substances kya hota hai wo le liye gaye aur absorb kar liye gaye blood mein chale gaye then blood mein jaate hain to kya hota hai blood carries the absorbed food to body cell where they are utilized for energy wahan par unko energy milti hai growth and health in performing different life functions aur jisse ki wo aage ke aur functions apne kaam har animal ko kuch na kuch physiological activity ho jati hai uski physical activities hoti hai uske liye usko energy ki zarurat hoti hai so that is done in the process of assimilation now last process last step is digestion digestion ka matlab hota hai ki jo bhi khana digest hua wo pura ka pura to hamare liye useful nahi hai to usme jo undigested food hota hai ya jo waste material hota hai usko kaise sharir se bahar karna so different animals have different organs for the digestion so this is how we have learned in the five steps in the uh, holozoic nutrition then we will learn about the such animals which are of different categories like saprophyte they are very small animals and they draw the nutrition wo food kahan se lete hain dead and decaying matter of the plant and animals aur jaisa ki naam suggest karta hai sapro means hota hai rotten sade gale padarth aur trops means hota hai nutrition so such animals take their food from the rotten uh, rotten organic matter now this rotten organic matter may be plant product or may be animal product the examples are many microorganisms like bacteria fungi earthworm is also in this category now next is coming the parasite parasites ka matlab hota hai aise animals parasite animals feed on the body of a living host so living host par aise hain they do not give anything to the host in return wo host ko kuch return mein nahi dete bas usse lete hi rehte hain सपोज हम आपके घर आ जाए और हम सिर्फ आपसे कुछ लें तो हमारा मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन क्या हो जाएगा पैरासिटिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन कि हम तो भैया आपसे सिर्फ केवल ले रहे हैं बट देखिए हमारी कंडीशन और दूसरी ऑर्गेनिज्म की कंडीशन में डिफरेंस है ऑर्गेनिज्म क्या करता है लिविंग होस्ट के ऊपर ही रहता है उसको जरूरत होती है सिर्फ लिविंग होस्ट की तो इस तरह से ये हुआ पैरासिटिक मोड अब पैरासिटिक मोड दो तरह का होता है एक्टो पैरासाइट एंड एंडो पैरासाइट एक्टो पैरासाइट आर दो पैरासाइट विच लिव ऑन द बॉडी ऑफ होस्ट and suck their blood unka blood suck karte hain like lice jaise girls ke aksar lice ho jati hain unke hairs mein to kya hota hai they are externally they are bahar se hain aur blood suck karti hain leech jo externally kahin se bhi hamare stick kar jati hai aur jab tak uska pura hamara blood jitna usko chahiye nahi le leti tab tak wo hamare pair se ya haath se jahan bhi stick kari nahi nikalti to ye hua ectoparasites ke example now i will tell you about the endoparasite ab endoparasites aise पैरासाइट uh, हैं जो कि बॉडी के अंदर सरवाइव करते हैं और सारा का सारा खाना हमारा चूज लेते हैं सारा न्यूट्रिशन हमारा ले लेते हैं अब इसके बहुत अच्छे एग्जांपल्स हैं राउंड बम टैप बम एस कैरिस और हुक बम दीज आर द एग्जांपल्स लिवर फ्लू ये सब कहाँ रहते हैं हमारे इंटेस्टाइनल ट्रैक में घुस जाते हैं और हमारा खाना चूसते रहते हैं और हम लिविंग होस्ट हैं उससे लेते रहते हैं तो ये सारे एंडो हो गए इवन द मलेरियल पैरासाइट इज ऑल्सो एंडो then comes the next or last category of it is that is scavengers scavengers aise animals hain jo kisi bhi dead animal ke flesh ko hi eat karte hain unke examples hain vulture and jackal so is tarah se ye sari categories aapko 
पता चल गई अब इनमें क्वेश्चन कैसे पूछे जाते हैं दैट ऑल्सो यू शुड नो सब के बारे में आपको ये पता होना चाहिए कि किसकी क्या कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हैं तो हम आपसे पूछ सकते हैं हाउ यू विल डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन सेप्रोफाइट्स एंड स्केवेंजर्स वो भी डेड डेंडिकिंग और ऑर्गेनिक मैटर लेते हैं और ये डेड एनिमल्स लेते हैं बस इतना सा डिफरेंस है इस तरह से क्वेश्चन पूछे जाएंगे और ऐसा भी पूछा जा सकता है डिफाइन सो एंड सो एंड राइट देयर टू एग्जाम्पल तो आप स्केवेंजर्स के एग्जाम्पल्स दे सकते हैं वल्चर एंड जेकार आप सेप्रोफाइट्स में दे सकते हैं फंजाई बैक्टीरिया अर्थवर्म आप पैरासाइट्स में भी दे सकते हैं एक्टो एंड एंडो पैरासाइट के दो दो एग्जांपल्स लर्न कर लीजिए दिस इज अबाउट योर डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन एंड ऑल नाउ आई वांट टू टेल यू वन इंटरेस्टिंग एनिमल दैट इज नोन एज जुगलिना वो यूनिसेलुलर होता है बट उसके अंदर क्लोरोप्लास्ट होता है तो इट कैन जब क्लोरोप्लास्ट होगा तो क्या करेगा इट कैन सिंथिसाइज फूड तो इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ क्लोरोपिन इट शोज सेप्रोपेटिक न्यूट्रिशन बाई इंजेस्टिंग डेड ऑर्गेनिक फूड डिस्पर्स इन बॉडी body of euglena is covered with cell membrane only and is without a cell wall matlab cell wall nahi hai plant se thoda different hai par chlorophyll hai hence considered an animal through it includes chlorophyll isliye isko plant aur animal ke beech mein mana jata hai is tarah se isko is categorize kiya gaya so this is all about in this video in the next video we will learn about the digestion in human